Welcome all. Estimate the crop yield using data analytics. This is an IBM Knowledge Theorem project. Let's see our team presentation. IBM PNT 2022 TMID 48705 is our team ID which includes of 4 members. Myself Sham Hirtik, team leader, final year EZE, Joseph Ransbull, team number 2, final year EZE, Saran, team number 3, final year EZE and Venkatesh, team number 4, final year EZE. Let's see the contents before we start. First, introduction to data analytics and then technologies used in our project. And then we are going to see how we are implemented the data analytics and machine learning in our project. And then we go for app demonstration and finally for the conclusion. Now I hand over the session to Saran. Introduction to data analytics. Data analytics is the collection, transformation and organization of data in order to draw conclusions, make predictions and drive informed decision making. It includes identifying the question, collecting raw data, cleaning data, analyzing data and interpreting the results. There are four key types of data analytics. Descriptive, Diagnostic, Predictive and Prescriptive. In our project, we have used Prescriptive and de Descriptive Analysis. Let's see what is Descriptive Analytics. Descriptive Analytics helps answer questions about what happened. This technique summarizes large data sets to describe outcomes to stakeholders. The strategies can fail, track successes or failures. Prescriptive Analytics helps answer questions about what should be done. By using insights from Predictive Analytics, data-driven decisions can be made. Now, I hand over the session to Joseph Ramsbult. Technologies used. In data analytics, we have used IBM Cognos Analytics and Python with machine language, including many Python libraries such as Sleepon, Enbyte, Matplotlab, and Pandas. In web application, we have used ReactJS, CSS, JavaScript in client as for front end. In server, Node.js, Express.js, Axios have been used, as well as MongoDB for database as back end. In API, we have used Three APIs. There are Google, React Icon, and a Data API. Now I call upon Sam Kritik to demonstrate the application. Let's see how we are implemented data analytics and machine learning in our project. So we have been provided with a data set in our career smart intense console. Let's download it and understand the data set. As I have already downloaded, let's see it. So in this data set, it has six schemas, which are state names, district names crop year, season and types of crops, areas and respectively the production which will be according to other schemas. Let's obtain the insights from this dataset using IBM Cognos. So I have logged into my IBM Cognos with my credentials and uploaded the dataset which we have been provided and made some dashboard and obtained insights here. Each tabs have specific information and insights. Let's obtain the insights from this dataset using Python. We have used many Python libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and C1. We have read the data and made some analysis such as univariate analysis, bivariate analysis, multivariate analysis, descriptive statistics. and clean the data and prepare the data for the missing values and categorize the columns and build machine learning model with linear regression. For that, we have used SQL and Python library and trained the model and tested the model and came up with accuracy of 0.56 and 0.52. Let's see the app demonstration. So this is the code for our web application. In our web application, we have used ReactJS, CSS, JavaScript in client as for the front end. In server, Node.js, Express.js, Axios have been used as well as MongoDB for the database for the back end. So let's type a simple command npm start to run our web application. And same for the server also. Type npm start. Yeah, our login page showed up here and check for the command. So our app is running the localhost 3000 and our server is running the port of 8088 and it shows connected to database successfully. Let's go back to the app. So this is the login form we have created with the 
React JS and CSS and JavaScript. So let's test our validation here with the server. So let's sign up as a test user here to validate our form. I'm going to type test user and I'm going to type the existing email ID to, to make validation perfectly working fine here. sign up it shows user will be given email already SSH so our database is kind of successfully connected to the app and working fine and the validation is working fine here and it's also same goes to also for the password also so I'm, I'm going to register as a new user here and you click so our password validation is working fine here. So let's sign up with the perfect credentials. Yes, when I click sign up, it redirected to the login page. Let's check our database whether the new credentials have been pushed to the database. Let's refresh it. Yes, our new credentials have been pushed to the database. In the password character, we have entered as 8 letter character but here the presented character is a switching letter character because in here we have used a specific node module called bycrypt it's used to make the password hash and salted here before it push it to the database so it's, it's working fine here so let's go back to the app so here we have used a google api to make sure the user to sign in with the google account directly and we have a feature forget your password to make sure the user to use this and to create a new password and make sign in before signing into your account kindly log into your IBM Cognos Analytics account in another tab and then log in here to read dashboard and to prevent interruptions because our dashboard requires IBM Cognos Analytics login so let's log in IBM Cognos Analytics let me enter my credentials so let's launch the Cognos Analytics account. Yeah, it's just fully logged in. So, so let's get signed in with our credentials. Successfully, our dashboard is loaded here, which is embedded in our web application. Our navigation now consists of three tab: Home, Report, and Story. Let's look in the Home this dashboard shows the total production total area total states and total crops and the chart states the production with respect to crop year we have provided four filters here which will vary with season state name district name and crop let's go for the second tab here the chart states the area with respect to state name and sum of states and sum of area and here the district insert is total districts production by crop year with two filters and for the fourth the chart states the area by respect to crop year which shows the total area sum of average area and with the minimum area and for the sixth state map production it shows the different colors it based upon our data set we have been provided each color denote each states and for the seventh, we have been provided with the three tables, which is state and crop, season and crop, and crop and district. Let's go for the report. This report shows the production with the respect to crop year with more details. And the second report is showing the area with respect to state name with more details. And third is production with the crop year with significantly values of crop year are 2011 and 2013 with the production values add up to approximately 27 billion and the next report is production with respect to season and, and finally for the map production report it shows with the more details unusually high when state name is Kerala and Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu let's go for the story
I call upon Venkatesh to deliver conclusion. Conclusion Now we have known the fundamental concepts and can work on IBM Cognos Analytics. Gained a broad understanding of data analytics with Python and web applications. Now we are able to create meaningful dashboards. Thank you.